Yes, sir. So, bros, when you see relationships like this one that took place not too long ago with Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson, you already know that they're not going to last long because they're not meant to. Rebound guys never prosper with liberal women, bros, a.k.a. the narcissist. Majority of women are narcissists. It is what it is. Could you imagine being in a relationship with a chick that relentlessly takes selfies? Every time you out, it's selfie time. You go out to eat, phone in their face, food getting cold, the list goes on. The main connection that these women have in this day and age, bros, is the connection that they have with their phone and the internet. And then comes the relationship that they have with themselves. They're not really that concerned with the relationships with others. That's why they don't really work out. You know these females, bros. It could be a time span of three years and there's going to be at least three boyfriends. So just imagine the men that they don't claim. Three to six months it could be. You already jumping from a man to another. But the woman encourage it because they say, you look so great together. I'm so happy for you. When they should be saying, maybe you should chill. You haven't healed from the past relationship. They only look for exceptions. Because you know social media is just a highlight reel. You already know that it gotta stay positive. Nobody can really tell the truth. Girls like Kim Kardashian, they need to take they just need to chill out for a quick second. But they want to siphon the energy from the new man because he's the new thrill, the new excitement that's going to be coming into their lives. Because like I said, they're validated from the outside. The comments, the likes, everything that they get from social media gives them that high to keep them pushing for the next day. Like I said, they relentlessly take selfies like they don't know or like the public does not know what they look like. We know these women. We know the Kim Kardashians. We know the dudes like Pete Davidson that are just happy to be there. But that's what takes place when it comes to dating, quote unquote, in this day and age where both sides are using each other. Well aware that the relationship is not going to last long because that's dating in this day and age. We use each other. Temporary relief. Sex each other a little bit. And then we go on to the next because. In this era, bros, where you got dating apps, social media, everybody feels like the dating pool is so large. Options are so available. That's why everybody moves, for the most part, the way that they do. It's like going to the grocery store trying to, decide, trying to decide on what brand. That's why rebound guys never prosper. But dudes out here, they love playing the side role. They love to wait for that opportunity to see if they're going to get that text from the female saying, can we talk? I think I might have ended it with my man. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> they love that trophy. Kim Kardashian, she's that trophy. But nothing else is there, bros, because she lacks substance. That's why she needs to get this energy from new partners, new suitors. And then the women are going to encourage it. And the men are just going to sit there waiting for her just to be available once again. Scrub that dude off the page so they can shoot their shot in the DM. <laughs> but let's just see what they got to say, though. Back now on GMA with news of a big breakup in Hollywood. Reports saying Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson have called it quits. Just look at the attention that she's giving the outside, her fans, quote unquote. It's just like the female that a lot of these dudes deal with when they're about to take a picture. They give that seductive look. A lot of these dudes don't even get that look in the bedroom if they're going to be in the bedroom to begin with. They're just so overly infatuated with the, the likes that they might get, the lust, the lusting that these little buffoons might do on the net and whatnot when they send the hard eyes and fire emojis. <laughs> that's what's on the back of their mind bros just look at the look that you get from these women when you go on the gram or whatever platform will gans is here with all the tea this morning oh, we've been talking about it the tea is hot you guys <laughs> hot. Yeah. yeah while the relationship between the two seemed very hollywood from tattoo tributes to met gala red carpets the breakup between the 41 year old businesswoman and the 28 year old comedian is actually for a very relatable reason after nine months of magic. This is so beautiful, Aladdin. I've never gotten to see what it's like outside of the palace. 
Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson are throwing in the towel. Babe? Yeah. Do you want to shower with me really quick? The reality star and billionaire first met the comedian yeah, last October work. when she hosted yes, SNL. From red carpets to the White House Correspondents' Dinner, the duo seeming to always be in the spotlight. The Skims mogul opening up about their relationship with Robin Roberts earlier this year. I'm very happy and very content, and it's such a good feeling just to be at peace. I mean, damn, you don't look at peace. Sound like a damn robot. Sound like you're reading the script. It doesn't even sound like any emotion is there, bros. And a good amount of these females are just emotionless, soulless. They need that energy from the man. They need the energy from the new partner that they're dealing with. Because you know a good amount of these girls are sexually fluid. So I got to say partner nowadays. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but they need that energy from the new thrill, the new excitement. Because they don't have anything else going on with them. A good amount of them are depressed. A good amount of them are lonely. The list goes on, bros. Fighting this script. That dude was just happy to be there. Just look at that big ass smile every time that he's there. <laughs> like a good amount of these dudes. Just happy. <laughs> But now, distance and the couple's schedules have reportedly made a relationship impossible. Davidson has been in Australia filming a movie, and Kim has four children that she co-parents with Kanye West. Kim, Kanye, and Pete have been entangled in a heated war of words after West alleged that Davidson was a bad influence on his children, speaking out in an interview with Hollywood with Unlocked. Don't play with my children, and ain't no security gonna get in between me and my children in mark man that's a damn lie bros <laughs> yo and, <laughs> and yo both sides take this relationship very seriously because you got a lot of goofballs that worship kanye west let's be honest and let's be real bros we see a lot of them on a day-to-day -day basis man not only do you have worshipers of kim k you got worshipers of kanye bros and it's pretty sickening and pathetic but you have women out here that were taking kanye west serious taking those little silly ass threats that he was throwing on the internet this guy, this needs to be taken serious. This is harassment. <laughs> it just shows you that these women, they just see everything on the surface level and everything cannot be taken serious that comes out of their mouth, especially when they get the news from social media. Everything that they get is from social media, Twitter, from their friend, from a blue check mark. They don't do research. They don't try to dig their own dirt on anything. Kanye West needs to get arrested for the threats. <laughs> the rapper even releasing a music video that depicted kidnapping and killing a figure that resembled the comedian. Kim Kardashian now managing yet another public breakup, but sourced yet another public breakup. Bros, you see these females on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Three to six months is another dude. Then another guy taking selfies like this, going out to eat. Cute selfies at brunch. Cute selfies at the restaurant. A night out town with my love. You just met the dude. <laughs> We're aware of this guy only for two weeks and he's your love already? That's what I'm trying to say. How could he be your love so quick when you just got out of a relationship three weeks prior? No doubt. <laughs> and then they take selfies like this. And then the woman say, they look so great together. And then the people that know what time it is are just waiting for them to break up. Because there's nothing there. Relationships like this are built out of nothing. There's nothing that holds it together because everything is surface level. Everything is just so basic. Everything is from the outside. There's nothing really, there's no foundation on the inside. No substance. Besides being attracted physically, what else is going to be there, bros, when you have these quote-unquote trophies or these little dime pieces or IG models, whatever you want to call them, these chicks that look real glammed up on the internet, what else is there besides you being attracted to that image? Not everything is what it seems on the internet. Gotta be easy and be patient. But these people, they don't really want to take their time because they're in a rush to see if they're going to like you or not because they feel like they have so many options. Telling E! News, the split from Davidson is amicable, saying the pair has a lot of love and respect for each other.
And for any fans thinking that this could all mean a Kimye reconciliation, not so fast. Divorce proceedings between Kardashian and Wes are still underway. Just yesterday, one of his lawyers stepped... So you mean to tell me that she's still married? She's still married. And dudes out here, like I said, rebound guys, side guys, they never prosper because they're just they're just willing to get used by these females bros because they have no spine because they only want to get ass because that's what validates them these dudes will be out here sleeping with married women bros like it's cool there's so many scallywags out here so many stragglers out here with no ring whatsoever in the foreseeable future and beyond but they want to mess with the married woman because she's thirsty. She wants to get over the argument that she had with her husband because she's uh, on a on a weekly breakup with her husband or whatever it may be. You know how these women feel. One day is this. The next day is that. And then you got dudes out here that's actually waiting for a text. The same dude that will approach a female, ask her for her number. She says that she's in a relationship or married. His response is. We could still be friends. Those bozos, they never prosper. They don't care about getting used. They want to be used. A bunch of bozos with no backbone. Down as a judge grants an official court date in December to finalize that split. <laughs> I told you the tea was steaming Dropped hot. Dropped it like yeah. a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You heard all the bases. Yes. Trying to recover. Thank you, Our to that. I was yeah. processing that all. Yes. <laughs> That's how I laugh, too, when I hear about these relationships that people take so seriously, bros. It just makes me laugh because nothing sees it to amaze with all of these people, predominantly women, because they love celebrity relationships. So, bros, just pay attention to see what you can learn. Rebound guys never prosper with narcissistic women. Not now, not ever. It's enough of that. I'm out.